It's like that man who went fishing and another fisherman observed him and this man was fishing and anytime he would catch a big fish, he would throw it away. So the other guy observed that and he comes up to him and he says, I've noticed all the big fish you throw away and all the small fish you keep. What's up with that? He says, oh, it's, it's a very small, simple solution. He said, the problem is that I have a very small frying pan. And he says, I cannot take all the big fish because I can't fry them. He said, dude, why don't you get a big frying pan? He said, never thought about that. And that's how many people are. We keep all the small visions because our small mind is like this frying pan. And so when Jesus is saying, I want to touch a city, you're like, no, no, no. My frying pan says, God can only touch my children. When Jesus is saying, I can use you to heal people, you're like, no, my frying pan says only medical insurance can heal people. You got to enlarge your frying pan to the size and the compassion of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can somebody say amen? <laughs> Jesus' heart and Jesus' passion is on multitudes because he's moved by compassion. Our focus many times is on mediocrity because we are moved by convenience. We are moved by comfort. See, we see them as drug addicts. Jesus sees them as home group leaders. He sees them as apostles. He sees them as prophets. He sees them as pastors. He sees them as businessmen. He sees masses. So he tells disciples, I know you want to kick them away from my heart, but I see them. And not only that the fact they're hungry, I see what could become of them if they become filled. Don't push the crowd away from my heart. Jesus' heart is not set on just rescuing few old elderly people in our city. His heart is set on rescuing the people who are hungry because he sees beyond their hunger. Beyond them shooting themselves up with drugs. Beyond themselves sliding the wrist. Beyond themselves stealing from the store to pay for drugs. He sees into who they could be if his grace touches them. And if it wouldn't be for the grace of God, I wouldn't be here. If it wouldn't be for the grace of God, I wouldn't be holding this microphone and Jesus saw me. And because of that, he let his heart touch the masses. I was part of the masses. Today, let's connect with his vision. Today, let's not limit Jesus to this building. Let's not limit Jesus to a Toyota Center. Let's limit Jesus to his power and his compassion. Not our convenience, comfort or insecurity. Can somebody say amen? That's why our vision of our church is to see thousands saved, thousands healed, thousands delivered by the devil, thousands going from a dope dealer to a hope dealer, thousands going from zero to a hero, thousands going from a trial to a triumph, from a, te from a temptation to a testimony. Can somebody say amen? amen. That is the vision of Jesus Christ. Because disciples wanted to push away this big vision that Jesus had, push away multitudes. By pushing away multitudes from Jesus, they would remove the need to sacrifice to meet the challenges of those multitudes. By pushing away multitudes from Jesus, they are excused from trusting in Jesus' power and seeing his miracles. When you push away multitudes, you also push away miracles. Because nobody needs miracles to feed their belly. We only need miracles to reach a city. You don't need a deep, great prayer life. Nobody who wakes up at 4.30 in the morning. Only those who want to reach multitudes. Who fasts, who prays, who gives, who sacrifices. Only those whose vision requires intervention from above. Who say, God, I can entertain few kids, but I cannot impact the city. That requires a supernatural intervention. The most beautiful part is when the multitudes were not pushed away. A lad, a teenager, was utilized to feed them. When our vision is big, our kids will be the tool in the hands of God to reach that vision. The teenagers will be in the hands of God to reach that vision. The children will be in the hands of God to reach that vision. And the little that they have, God is going to use to reach that vision. 
that's why we cannot allow ourselves today to lower our vision to the size of our provision to the size of our resources to the size of our cultural background or our highest education to the size of our social circle no we have to lift it up to the size of what Jesus sees and therefore we position ourselves for miracles and lads not to be used by the devil but be used by the Holy Ghost can somebody say amen? amen we make room for miracles when we make room for masses